Ladies and gentlemen, let me get to the big breaking news, and we're going to have a guest uh, coming on who's um, done up, stood up and done the right thing and got a lot of attention. Uh, but look at these headlines. Exclusive, they tell you. It's really not exclusive. Now it's safe for the controlled press that they've been authorized to report on this to put out what's actually been going on for at least 20 years. Everything you do on the phone, cell phone, uh, faxes, then emails is all tracked. And it's then handed out to local police at the threat fusion centers. U.S. directs agents to cover up program used to investigate Americans. A secret of U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration. Yeah, it's so secret they've got a substation a half mile from my house. And they all think they're movie stars. I drive by, they got all these new Corvettes and stuff they use to set people up. And all these women, these good-looking women they've got as operatives. You drive by them and they've always got their sunglasses standing around the parking lot talking to each other. They're all movie stars. You're all walking dead. You've already been injected with cancer viruses by your masters. A bunch of government drug dealers. Anyways, excuse me, let's continue here. They use this. The NSA, I told you, is to control the drug trade and take down anybody who doesn't pay their cut. But it doesn't matter. You're agents with the government and you drive Corvettes, so it's okay. A secretive U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration unit is funneling information from intelligence intercepts, wiretaps, informants. <clears throat> Hey, when, I read some article where in 5,000 plus crimes were allowed to be committed just in one area by the FBI, by their informants. Oh, yeah, their informants can kill whoever they want. Informants and a massive database of telephone records to authorities, not servants, their authorities, across the nation to help them launch criminal investigations of Americans. And it goes on to admit that it's non-terror related. Although these cases were rarely involved national security issues, documents reviewed by Reuters show that law enforcement agents have been directed to conceal how such investigations truly began, not only from defense lawyers, which is totally illegal, but also sometimes from prosecutors and judges. Yeah, because they haven't been let in on everything yet. As I told you folks, I told you most police aren't let in on this, even at the threat fusion centers. Let me explain. It goes on to say that once they've already got the data without warrants, they go and create or recreate a fake investigation. What did I tell you about the millions of wiretaps where they do a rubber stamp? That's only done phase two. After they've already got the data, they then go recreate the fake investigation. Now they're just getting rid of that entirely. And of course, this is all designed to also plant stuff on your computer. They've planted on over 20,000 Defense Department employees, last time I checked, child porn, and they come in and tell them they planted it, and they better do what they're told now. Instead of all those people just standing up saying you planted it, they're all going to do what they're told, and it's the end of the country. Uh, the updated documents show, how many times have you heard me say this? Hundreds? The undated documents show the federal agents are trained to recreate the investigation trail to effectively cover up where the information originated a practice that some experts say violates the defendant's constitutional right to a fair trial it's not that they got the info illegally to begin with and created a fraudulent new investigation i had tried everything i'd cut back the amount of food i was eating i was lifting weights and jogging but nothing was working my body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Here's some of the headlines up on Infowars.com. Al Nusra mercenaries in Syria slaughter Kurdish women and children in mass. It's mainstream news in Europe, but you'll never hear about it here. That's our government funding that. And of course, those are groups that aren't even with Assad. The Al Qaeda forces are allowed to kill whoever they want, whenever they want. Back to the days of Lawrence of Arabia. 
Fourth Amendment dead in Los Angeles. Very powerful article by Kurt Nemo that shows this cop just comes over and says, I want to search your car because I feel like it. And I mean, talk about a power trip. And then I see this video of this homeless guy. I'm going to get to that later. Where the female cop gets in his face and he calls her uh, the B word reportedly. And she, you can see it. She just pulls the gun out, sticks it to his chest and shoots him. I mean, it's just getting, I mean, like I saw another one over the weekend, a couple of them where the, where the guy had a warrant out and, and, and they said his truck didn't stop. So they shot him and his girlfriend. And it's just now, you know, it's like it's Rambo tough because they all play video games that were designed by the Pentagon, the shoot 'em up games, to where you would kill and and you know not not hesitate up close. And now more and more, it's like really manly, like ooh, you haven't killed anybody yet on the department. Well, you better get out there and get your job done. You know, get out there and kill somebody immediately. And of course, those tapes have been released about you know the police saying, let's go out and hunt some people, let's kill some people tonight. And it's like you know, it's not like you're going out in the forest with another guy that's got a gun and saying, you start here, I start there, let's kill each other. I mean, if you're into that kind of stuff, why don't you go find somebody like you, you guys can go kill each other, or why don't you go take jujitsu and then start competing? I mean, just, you know, I mean, if you want to do all that, go do it, but don't do it just on, on average people. That is not, that is not tough. That is pathetic. And I know a lot of you like to kill people just because it's a game. You don't necessarily even enjoy killing them. You like the feeling you get after it of being sad that you killed somebody. You like to cross that line, don't you? But see, you've been given the power, authoritarians worldwide, to hurt the innocent and kill people because your masters are killing softly, gently, in a torturous way in a slow, grueling, false hope way through the anthropogenic cancer weapons, the binary chemical systems that have been introduced into the food chain. And they sit back and they write statistical analysis books, the White House science czar, John P. Holden and others, tracking their progress. And they have taken very beautiful people across the world, wherever they get control, and they have made us very, very ugly and stunted and dumb and diseased. And the truly beautiful are truly rare now. Beauty and spirit, beauty and looks, beauty and works is the enemy. It is the feast. It is the target. It is the main dish of the night. They dine on our youth, they dine on our virtue, they desecrate and vandalize all that is sacred, all that is holy, all that is wholesome, all that is good. They trot us underfoot. They are the priest of power, always pressing on the nerve of power. A society more wicked, more destructive, that's their progress, trampling and being trampled. I ask you, do you like the fruits of the New World Order? Because if you do, it's going to get a lot worse. I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt. Obama's joker face on the front and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller come and take it t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. Plus, the Don't Tread on Me flag. And now you can become a micro distributor of the InfoWars magazine. Plus, get your own copy delivered right to your door each and every month. And if you're tired like I am of you and your family being exposed to polluted drinking water, get the Pro One High Performance Water Filter. It gets rid of all pathogenic bacteria, cyst, fluoride, heavy metals, and numerous other contaminants. So join the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com.
China is ending its one-child policy on the surface. We're going to look at the implications of that. They found what the British Empire found, that if you just simply say that you're no longer an empire but continue operating as a corporate entity, people will not resist. Or if you say an assault is not an assault, they'll lay down while you knock their political and socioeconomic teeth out. Uh, really, through bureaucracy and regulation, they're expanding the social engineering that has a fully 50 plus million boys in China than there are girls. And that has caused a huge societal crisis. They're now trying to move forward with similar systems here in the Western world. So that's coming up uh, after our guest who's going to pop in uh, leaves us. Uh, also, if you just joined us recapping our top story, it really is big news because it's in Reuters and now people can admit it. But you could go back 15 years ago. I'm not bragging. I just, I'm pointing out this was public. This is in the Telecommunications Act of 96. So I guess, third, uh, how many years ago it was 1996? No, no, 1996. 1996. 1996. We're talking 17 years. Yeah, 17 years. I always tend to say 15 years because... It's just time just keeps flying by. Hard to believe I've been on air more than 18 years. They got the Telecommunications Act come out, and it, it, it paid $9 billion to put all these hubs in and to put the threat fusion centers in and to wire all of this. And then all these major companies put out in their stock uh, holding announcements uh, and valuations, what's going on. I mean, Google in 2005 said, we're using cameras and microphones to listen to you in your house. We have AI computers, store up all the data, and then we run it through an algorithm, and then we decide what ads to pop up. And, of course, CNN last week had the headline, your TV is watching you. See, now it's time to tell you. Well, here's another one out of Reuters, exclusive U.S., Directs agents to cover up program used to investigate Americans for marijuana, uh, for spanking their kids, j j just just everything. And it's all in these terminals at the threat fusion centers. Everything about you, where you're at, they can dial in and find where your phone's at without a warrant. They can dial in and turn your phone on to listen to you even when it's off. They can hard code messages to your phone, video, text, and audio. Even when it's off, it reboots it and turns it on. Most phones even have a capacitor in them, or even if the battery's removed, they can do this. Or they can briefly power it up. I mean, they're hardwiring a technocratic takeover program. And here's Reuters saying that once they get data for a prosecution without warrants, they go recreate the investigation, open up and get the warrant, and it's totally illegal. Boom, Reuters. FBI pressures internet providers to install surveillance software. Yeah, that's the Cybersecurity Act they can't pass. So now they're just going even into small IT companies with 100 or more customers and threatening them to pay themselves to put the snooping systems in and the fiber optic back to FBI. <laughs> I mean, beyond 1984. Here it is. NSA secretly feeding spy intel to police for petty crimes. Boom. Feds are suspects in new malware that attacks Tor anonymity and they're loading it onto the servers of the companies this is wired magazine when you want to try to have your legal lawful privacy they are going and with their cyber command hacking in and loading it on google on record that's why they didn't get in trouble here uses their wireless cars to go around with government codes given to them by microsoft apple and everybody else to break into your computer and download everything including your codes I told you that a decade ago. It's on record now because I have NSA sources. I have FBI sources. People say the sources have dried up. We just broke with our sources through defense contractors and the Intel Hub and others that don't want to be named. Uh, more of the urban warfare centers they've got where they are training to take on the American people yesterday. The answer to this tyranny is more whistleblowing, ladies and gentlemen. If something's illegal, you have a duty to do it. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.